Hey everybody, today I'm showing you the Drio Chef Maker. It's a pretty cool kitchen appliance that I saw on Kickstarter a while back. The guys behind it were kind enough to send me a unit to test. It's a smart cooker with three cooking modes. It also has four, over 44 preset programs that you can choose from that you customize your food. It connects to your smartphone. It has a 5.6 inch screen that you can use to select the program that you want. You can use the companion app to keep up with the food that you're cooking. Also, you can use it to try video guide recipes. So let's see what's inside. So this is what's inside. Get a quick start guide. Get your manual. This is your cooking tray. The start guide is pretty simple. It shows you what each of these features and parts are all about. You have your cooking probe, you have your water tank. So these are the basic components of this cooker. And you have these three modes that are explained here. There's also an app for you to download. This I'm assuming is the probe actually says it right on it that it is the probe that you need so you insert this into your meat and you'll be able to track its doneness this is the main unit just want to be careful not to break it so I'm just going to remove this so this is everything that you get you get this cooking tray you get your food probe you get your manuals and you get everything else is in the machine is tightly packaged and it also has proper protection so when you get it it's not going to be broken instructions are available so you don't have to guess anything and this is where your water goes also remove these was inside so this is everything you get you get the main unit with plenty of visuals to show you how to actually use it the first time you get the cooking tray you get the grilling rack As far as the size goes, just get an estimate. This is the back. Here's the bottom of the machine. Now I'm gonna plug this for the first time. As you can see, I've not removed all these different things from it. This is the first time I'm just trying it on to see how the interface works. The cooker is now on. You have your chef mode. You have your classic cooking mode. You have your probe cooking mode. You have that probe here that you can use to measure the doneness of your food. It has the simple interface that you have to connect. You have this to turn on the light and you can see your food. You need these buttons to change. You can add items to your favorite as far as settings, which is what I'm interested in. This is where you connect your Wi-Fi. You just have to download this app by scanning this barcode here. In order to connect this device to your smartphone, you're going to have to create an account. Now I'm logged on. It says it wants to connect the Bluetooth. Let's turn it on. 
I'm just gonna add my device. So now my device is found. At this stage, you're gonna have to enter the credentials for your Wi-Fi network. I've done that. Now it's gonna take a couple of seconds. It's gonna connect to it. If you have ever any trouble connecting, it shouldn't be an issue, but if you are to double click this, and then you'll be able to reset your connection and they have explained it there as well, so that's not an issue. So connection is not successful. And I can turn it off, I can turn it on. I can go to different modes. I can try different recipes of the version, screen timeout settings. All these are changeable, temperature unit. Go turn it on and off. So this is how you add a new device to your app. Now I've connected this to my smartphone. I'm ready to select a program. Now I'm not clicking in this yet. I'm just gonna show you some programs that it has. You have Classic, you have a Probe. So you can attach the probe and start monitoring the doneness of your food. Now if I go here to Chef Mode and select this program and let's go, let's say I wanna make some seafood. So it's an interactive experience. Just select what you want to cook. So here I'm just selecting what I want to cook. I can return, let's say I'm going to go to something else. Let's say I want to make poultry. It tells me how many minutes it's going to take. It also lets me know where I should insert the probe. Even if you've never used a temperature tracking probe, once you do it a couple of times, you get a handle on it. I can Turn the light here on. When I put something in there, I can see what's being cooked. Instructions are included, which is nice. So you sort of have your own guide here. So it's not just a cooker, it just also teaches you how to cook. I can also go to classic mode. You have your defrost, reheat, boil, roast, toast, bake. So you can use this as a dehydrator as well. And this is where you can actually set the target temperature so you can get actually creative if you wanna try your own recipes. As far as the probe, it's pretty simple. So you get these two areas here. You also have these, which naturally should match that. And now it's connected. What's neat about the app is that you can select different programs and select this. I can send it to the device, you can see. So it's a pretty smart unit. It's not just for tracking the temperature, things like that, it's actually makes it easier to start cooking. You can do everything on your smartphone. Obviously you have to bring your ingredients. I can also add this to my favorites. I can turn the light on with this as well. Now let's cook something in this. Let's see how it turns out. So we've set this up. You can turn it on here by pushing that. You can also control this with your smartphone. So you can select a different mode. For instance, let's say I wanna cook something that is, let's say seafood, and we want steak here. I just send it to the device and it goes there and it's ready to go. You can also view recipes here, for instance. I can search for seafood. Let's say I wanna make this. I can send this to my device also. Now I'm gonna make some salmon in this. Let's see how it turns out. I'm using simple ingredients, nothing fancy as you can see. Adding some oil to it.
I'm not following a particular recipe. So there are recipes in the app that you can follow. This is just something that we're doing here just to test the machine. So after mixing all of this, you just want to let it rest for 30 minutes and then you're ready to cook. I'm just going to go and choose that program again. So I'll go and choose this steak. And now you see the instructions here. You can go and check it out. Some water. See how it turns out. That's parchment paper. Just to make sure that everything stays clean. For one of them, we're going to insert the probe that tracks the temperature. Just have to make sure that the probe is inserted to the thickest part of the meat. Green onions and garlic on the side. The probe is inserted. Make sure that it's lined up correctly. So I'm just going to now select the program. Just fill up the water so we had water in there but the machine was saying to add more water so we did now it's gonna take 32 minutes for this to cook so if I want to see what's happening you can just turn the light and then see how the food is cooking inside I can do this with my smartphone as well you can track the cooking process here on the display or on your smartphone and it lets me know I can always just stop it at any time as you can see, this is still achieving doneness. Then it's gonna go to browning. So all the steps are shown in the app. Just looking at it here. So now the machine is doing the browning. If I turn this on. This is almost getting there. Nine more minutes. So this is now finished. I'm using a thermal camera. As you can see, it's actually pretty hot. So you want to be careful. It was ready after 35 minutes. So now we're just removing the food after a couple of minutes and letting it cool down. gonna make a cut to see how well it's done but it was pretty straightforward so you can use your smartphone or you can use the menu just follow the instructions make sure that it has water if the recipe needs water so this looks pretty well cooked Now we're gonna make a couple of more lunches in this. Let's see how they turn out. So for certain items, you can actually select how you want your food to be cooked. For instance, you can select doneness, medium, medium rare, medium well, and go to flavor and it gives you the time. So if you go with something like that, that's gonna take 120 minutes. The sous vide flavor. What's neat about this is that I can also add items to my favorites and keep track of them here so if I make a bunch of stuff all the time I can add them and then keep track of them I just add them here and then if I go back here to the device and go to favorites I have it here so the one that I just made it's now available we're trying to make a kebab in this chef maker just gonna add the onion and then mix them Make sure it's mixed well. Some salt. And black pepper. Let's make sure to mix it well. So we are making the kebab.
putting them in there. Can't find a kebab program here, but we can go with burger patties, beef burger. Well done here. And for this recipe, we're not using water. Turn the light on and see how it's cooking. Just see, have to wait 24 more minutes. There's only 16 more minutes left. So this is pretty well done now. We could have gone with a medium rare or anything like that. It would have taken less time, but just testing it to see how well it does it. So as always, when it's done, you want to make sure that you don't touch the probe because it's going to be warm. I'm going to actually show it to you. As you can see, it's pretty hot and the probe is even much hotter. Just gonna add a little bit of this. And now you can put rice next to it and you're set. So this has now rice on the side. So this is your shola kebab of sort with tomatoes and rice and meat. So most recipes that I've covered here in this video are meat, salmon, beef meat. Now we're gonna try to make a cake in this because it does have a bake function. If you go to classic cooking, I just wanna to try to see whether we can actually make a cake in this and how well it turns out. It shouldn't be a problem, but let's see. So this is what I'm using. And this is eight inches in diameter that fits in the oven. You just have to mix the ingredients and then put it in the oven when you're ready to bake. Just add a little bit of baking powder. So oil and water. And then you just have to mix. You can get a portable mixer here. You can use any mixer that you have. Just gonna add the cake mix. Combine the two. This is parchment paper. Now we're gonna add some oil. Gonna add some macadamia to it as well. You can try other nuts, but I like this one better. In, in our oven, we baked the cake for 50 minutes at 350, but I'm not sure exactly how powerful this is. So I'm just gonna go with 30 minutes and then if it's not baked properly, I can add it 20 minutes later. So this is a test to see how this cake actually turns out. And just put it in the oven. Now it's ready for 30 minutes. Just gonna press this. And it's gonna get to work. I can always monitor it just to make sure it's baking properly. I was looking through the screen here and I'm not sure if it's cooking or if it's cooking it fast. So I'll pause this program and then I'm gonna take this out and let's see. So now it's still in need of a little baking. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a fork in this and if something sticks, then it needs a little bit more work. So it's not ready. I usually, in my own oven, I put it at 350 for 50 minutes. This one was 350 to 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna decrease the temperature and we're gonna go with this. Let's see. So this is now finished. I let it actually cool down for a little bit 
but it's ready to eat now. For the bake program, you have to experiment. This was the Drio Chef Maker, a cool Moita cooker that you can use to cook meat. You can have used the bake program, it has three modes. It has the chef mode, it has the classic mode. You can use it to make all kinds of things. And it also has a probe mode for more advanced users. You can connect it to your smartphone and control it that way. You can access video guide recipes. For more information, please go to the website. I'm gonna link it in the description. Thanks for watching.